hopped on my roof the next day. I meditated since I already uh, was into meditation uh, the year before that. And I meditate, I look up, I just make up my own little chant saying, uh, beings in the sky come to me, give me a sign, uh, help me advance to a higher level of consciousness, let me see you. And I, f I, feel like I felt a connection when I did it. But of course, I, didn't, I did, still didn't believe it. I was still pretty skeptic. I open my eyes after I do that and I see this orb over me. And I just think to myself, this is bullshit. This is just a coincidence. So I go back inside, I ignore it, and the next day I try it again, and it happens again the next day, and I, I stare at it a little longer this time, and I see it's not moving. And then it disappears into thin air. And I ask myself, is that a balloon? How could a balloon do that? How could it stay still and disappear and not move up? And then I try it again the third time, and at the third time, it, it's just, it's too big of a coincidence after that, and that's when I start believing that contact was real. After that, for a whole year, me and my dad would sit outside and watch these things, and we'd get, the sightings would progress and get crazier. Like, my favorite sighting till date, I call it the Magic Flying Carpet. It was a metallic, looked like metallic sheet of light that just waved through the air like that, and came in from the north, did a circle around my house, and then came, went back the same direction. Now that's intelligent design, so how the hell did it do that? It wasn't a paper, it looked like it was made of light. It was huge. I wish I would have recorded this before I ever started recording them. But I never told anybody about it because, you know, you don't want to be called crazy. No, still not near the wires, a little bit away from the wires. It was looking bright, metallic. I want to call this one. Ah, shit. Oh, I got a bird. Check this out, dude. I want to call this one. Yes, for a square. I, I always ask for the flying carpet. The one I saw was closer <laughs> though, but that's a perfect like flying carpet shape. The metallic uh, orb, metallic nice. one. Ooh, got you back. Nice. I got some video of it. You do? Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. oh I see it again. Where? Uh, it's go at if you count from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five oh, wires, right above uh -huh. wire five. Now it's under wire five. It's in the big gap. So from the bottom, one, two, three, four. Okay. In between four and five. Next to the tower. Oh yeah, looking yeah, I see him. Oh, right. He's way over there. Oh, I got great stuff for you. I got your mad the carpet looking thing that yeah. you just asked for on your interview. Oh, <laughs> I just got they the carpet. You asked for. You asked I just for gave him I just shot just a perfect shot, shot As you were of, of about his it, interview on his interview thing. You asked for it. For me, I give him I identify them. Give them whatever name you want to identify them with. I say beans in the sky because it's the most open thing I can think of to just uh, contact anything out there or a wide range I think it's a wide range because we've seen too many different kinds of UFOs to believe it's one kind of thing that shows up so I say beings in the sky come to me give me a sign that you're up there let me see you and help me advance to a higher level of consciousness or a higher level of understanding rephrase all that over and over again because telepathic communication is an emotional communication it's a feeling communication whatever the best way that you understand it is what's gonna be uh, felt or received by them. These pictures are of the same thing I caught on December 8th, 2013. Um, I think over in Hollydale, Hollydale Park where we were supposed to go yesterday. A couple of days later, I see these pictures on the internet. You know, like these little dimples and everything else and stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. Looks you like know, a diamond I'm, ring. I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you know, Fosto must have taken some of these pictures and he, he put them on the internet too, and I'm like, wow, that's pretty awesome. And then I take a look. This is from Phil Galea, December 8th, 2013, from Ilford, England. And it was put up on this worldufophotos.org, which is run by this guy, Ken Pfeiffer, the chief investigator for MUFON over in New Jersey. So these things look like, that's why we end up getting hassled from online and stuff, because they look like balloons. Yes. Now, if you take a look at this picture, this is a balloon. Yes. With with a uh, streamer. Yes. This is a streamer. Yes. This is a streamer. Yes. Okay. It's one twentieth of an inch. Okay. It's one twentieth of an inch. You should be able to take sixty of these things, sixty of them, side by side by side, mm -hmm. sixty sixty, mm -hmm. to make up the, the width of that. Yes. The width. Okay. Yes. If you put six up, sixty of them side by side. Yes. If you put them this way, okay. Now yeah, it's a different yeah, story yeah. and stuff. How many side by side can you put aside? <sighs> 
to make up the width of this balloon. Don't know. Have you done the measurements? No, you could take a look. What? Four, Maybe four yeah. five? Yeah. Yeah. Five? Yeah. 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 How thick must that be? You know? It's not it's not real. He's the one that they trust. Yes. Thank you. So yeah, obviously. Yes, we do believe he's the one that I cannot believe so that we saw. The, so I don't know. We have to see. We have well, to. Well, it's pretty matter. bright. When I saw but it, I thought, wow, very good. Like, and he's and the, the one that, that spotted it too. Yes, it's wrong.